Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson? Right now, I got to go with... And you know you got to go Allen. You know gonna right pick now, Allen. today. You know you're going to pick Josh Today, Allen. I got to go with Josh Told Allen. You. No, I'm just saying, look, everybody thought it was going to be a down year for the Bills. No Stephon Diggs, no superstar receiver. The year still but, got a couple look, months in it, but anyway, go ahead. Right now, Josh <laughs> Allen. <laughs> we talking about right now? Or, or right now, right? Yeah, yeah, I got right. Josh Allen right now, man. He's making the most of what he got. No egos on the team. Oh, He's God. leading them to the 3 and 0. <laughs> he ain't got nobody complaining about no touchdowns or touches right now. I got to go with my man Josh, man. Come on, man. He's playing free. And as of today, he's the MVP as of today. Key? I'm, I'm trusting Lamar. I'm trusting him right now, sitting at where he's sitting at. Got their first win last week against the Cowboys. Woo. Mm -hmm. Woo. Yeah, but they worked the Cowboys, oh, though. Tough. They, they worked them. But, but see, I ain't even going <laughs> to knock Josh Allen in Arizona in a, a hurt Miami and a bum Jacksonville team. I'm not, I'm going to let it ride. Hey, can take care but of at, the end, of me. at the end of the day, Lamar has to show that he can erase what happened against the Raiders the last time they was at home. They gave Raiders an L. I mean, the Raiders yeah. gave them an L, and they got the W and went back to Vegas and then dropped one to Carolina. He's got to show us now he can't let that happen off a big win against the Dallas Cowboys. So I trust that he'll... Get it turned around. He's focused. As he told his team, made it hump. Humphrey, hey, man, don't, you know, don't be on IG doing that. Get rid of that. You see what I'm his saying? They, not, they on IG. His mindset. <laughs> they over here going, <laughs> on they, they on IG that on the plane. They going no, on but stories. He, but he immediately told him, we got to get focused. Nah, Worry about this. I, I looked at it. He had another five minutes on it. I, I, seen it. I went to his. I went to his stories. I went to his. Where I get Paul they from? Locked, they not locked in over there. I, I don't think know. the Ravens are locked in. Uh, this is going to be a great game. I can't wait to see what happens here because I think this is a this is a bigger testament to where the Ravens are right now. The Bills are on the road, so you've got the Ravens at home. As you mentioned, their last home game was yeah not great. They gained one they, of the Raiders. They did get a big win over the Cowboys, but. You know, Paul kind of scoffed at it. What are the Cowboys yeah, are right the Cowboys now? We don't know. I, I think I trust Josh Allen, how he's playing and has played throughout this season so far. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they're that far away from each other. I do trust that the Ravens will get back on track and will still be competing to win this division and is, uh, are a playoff team. But this, this game to me is a lot more about the Ravens than it is about the Bills. The Bills have a little more runway right now. If they lose this game, being the Ravens lose this game, how are we going to look at where they are in the AFC? At home, by the way. So that means if they lose it, they drop the one and three, it's going to be tough. Yep. Yeah, you're going to, now they, now they going to be looking at that six, seven C type situation if they wind up dropping to one and three. It's, it's something that I'm sure that they talked about. It's a lot of pressure on the Ravens this weekend. So on the NFC side, Jalen Hurts and the Eagles head down to Tampa to face the Bucks. Jalen has struggled against the Bucks with a one and three record, which includes Ooh. two playoff losses. He's also thrown just four touchdowns to five interceptions. Jalen Hurts is actually tied with Anthony Richardson for the second most turnovers this season. Will Levis is in first. That is Ooh. not where you want to be if you're Jalen Hurts. And that was the big question coming into this year. Key. Are the past struggles against the Bucks something or nothing? It's something to me because, okay, so if I take out, if I take out his rookie season when he was a full-time starter and they played him in the playoffs, and I kind of got get rid of that, and I look at this was his first opportunity, I still worry about it because Ty Bowles has had his number since then, mm -hmm. and even up until now, where he's thrown five uh, interceptions to only four touchdowns. So he's doing, Ty Bowles is doing something to get uh, him off his game against Tampa Bay. Now, will it be different tomorrow? I mean, on Sunday when they play each other? It could be different. But, again, that's something to worry about now because that tells me that Ty Bowles knows you and you've yet to figure out his scheme and his defense. I'm worried because of the turnovers as well. Yeah. And they are banged up. We know Devontae's not going to play. We're not sure about A.J. Brown still. He's questionable with the hamstring injury. So will he be out there? We don't know. So they could be banged up. And it's on the road. And the Bucs want to recover from what happened last week. I don't really feel great about this game. And the way that Jalen Hurts is continuing to turn the ball over, which is something that he needed to correct, is really mm -hmm. concerning me. What do you think about his past struggles against the Bucs? Is something or nothing? It is something. Man, I I'll, tell you, uh, I'll tell you this. It's just something sometimes certain teams have your number. For me, 
Chicago Bulls. You know, it don't matter who they had, how good they were, how bad they were. I just never played good versus them. And it was just like, it was a thing. And when I look at this Jalen Hurst versus the Bucks, sometimes when it starts to become a thing over the course of one, two, three, four games, you just it just gets in your head. So he has to find a way to say, hey, I'm going to erase all of this. I'm not going to think about my past struggles. And somehow just, hey, let me put together a solid game. Even though my weapons aren't out there, you got to find a way to will your team to a win. And that's what he's got to do. But it's truly a thing. I'm telling you, I hate it going to Chicago. I, don't, I, I blamed it on the lights. I blamed it on the ball. I blamed it on the rims. I was just like, I just don't play well here. It's Staples just, either. You didn't play no, well. I played well in the Staples, <laughs> Keith. No, don't give me that. Mm -mm. Check out my career average. You average 16. <laughs> At Staples, you average 30. 16, man. I already done 30. seen it. My first 10 you, years. You average I mean, 16. Got, yeah, when I got old, when I, was at, when I was on the Clippers, yeah, of course. But no, nah, first 10 years, look it up. No, when you say hey, the man, Clippers, you, you average 7. You gotta get your stats together. Hey, Mohan, first 10 years for the Staples, <laughs> tell Q what I averaged. First 16. the Lakers. I that, know what you averaged. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that wasn't no problem. Hey, I, had too many, I had too many tickets requested yeah, in yeah, LA. Yeah, yeah. I had Hell yeah, out. ticket requests. He I couldn't had to focus. Show I had to he show couldn't up. focus. That's, that's what it was. What was this excuse in Chicago? <laughs> Man, I think it was the lights. lights. Yeah. I don't know. It was the ball. It was something. The rim, the rim was something was up. The house that Michael built? Yeah, it was something. The lighting <laughs> in there was bad. <laughs> where do you what do you feel about where the Eagles are right now? I feel good about them. Uh, you mentioned one thing, you mentioned turnovers. If Jalen Hurts can cut those turnovers down, and they're happening at times where you're like, Oh, God, they're getting, either getting ready to score, they're moving the ball. It's just those little things. It's like the, the fumble in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't fumble, they probably beat Kansas City, but he fumbles right at the wrong time. They got to clean that up. And then, obviously, the health issues to Devontae Smith and whether or not A.J. Brown is going to be mm -hmm. able to go, those sort of things are extremely important. Because right now, with those two potentially out of the lineup, you're now looking at, like, Paris Campbell, yeah. a rookie in Johnny Wilson yeah. out, of, out of Florida State, and then Dotson that came over in the trade from the Washington Commanders. Yeah, you have to get creative. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.